In this video, we are going to evaluate limits by rationalizing. So here we have an example. Now, if we try and plug in, use direct substitution, and just plug in 4 for x, what we will get is 0 divided by 0. Okay? If, if you plug in 4 here in the numerator, that's 4 minus 4. If you plug in 4 here in the denominator, that will give us 4 plus 5 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 minus 3 is also 0. Okay, so you have uh, an indeterminate form. Okay, 0 divided by 0. Okay, so what can we do? How could we find this limit? Okay, so what we'll do here is we will rationalize the denominator. Okay, we will try to uh, get rid of the square root in the denominator. Okay, how do we do that? We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator because it's, you know, that's what we want to rationalize. So what's a conjugate, by the way? Well, the conjugate is... Um, The conjugate of a plus b is a minus b, okay? So that's what a conjugate is, or um, the conjugate of a minus b is a plus b, okay? So just change the operation in between the terms. So this one's going to give us uh, plus 3, and same goes in the numerator. That's also plus 3. Okay, now since we are only rationalizing the denominator, we are just going to copy the numerator, the factors in the numerator. So that's the limit as x approaches 4 of x minus 4. Again, just copy that. x plus 5 plus 3 all over and then for the denominator we're gonna use we're gonna perform the foil method here so we will multiply the first terms so square root of x plus 5 times the square root of x plus 5 that will give us just x plus 5 okay and then the square root of x plus 5 times 3 that will give us uh, 3 so that's positive 3 square root of x plus 5 and then here the inner terms would then be negative 3 square root of x plus 5 and then finally the outer terms negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9 okay just extend then we can cancel out this and this okay and then try to simplify so then we have the limit as x approaches 4 then just copy again just copy the numerator because we did nothing there just copy that square root of x plus 5 plus 3 divided by and then your denominator will be x plus 5 minus 9. That's x minus 4. Okay. And so as you can see here, we can now cancel out the x minus 4. And that will give us the limit as x approaches 4 of the square root of x plus 5 plus 3 okay now we can plug in 4 for x no problem with that so just plug that in so that will give us square root of uh, 4 plus 5 plus 3 the square root of 4 plus 5 that's the square root of 9 which is 3 3 plus 3 that gives us 6 okay so the limit is equal to 6. 
let's have another example now in this example again if we try to plug in 5 directly that also will give us 0 divided by 0 okay so then we can try to rationalize in this case we're gonna rationalize the numerator because the square root is in the numerator so again just multiply by the conjugate of the numerator which is x square root of x minus 1 plus 2 over square root of x minus 1 plus 2 okay then uh, we can multiply the numerator using the FOIL method so that will be square root of x minus 1 times the square root of x minus 1 is just x minus 1 then we multiply the outer that will give us plus 2 square root of x minus 1 the inner will give us minus 2 square root of x minus 1 and then the outer will be minus 4 okay then all over we are only uh, rationalizing the numerator so just copy that and now we can cancel this out and simplify so that's limit as x approaches 5 of x minus 1 minus 4 that's x minus 5 right there divided by x minus 5 square root of x minus 1 plus 2 okay now observe we can also cancel this out okay so finally we have a limit as x approaches 5 of 1 over the square root of x minus 1 plus 2 okay now we can plug in x equals 5 so that's 1 over the square root of x minus 1 well x is 5 so 5 minus 1 plus 2 okay that will give us 1 over square root of 4 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 so that's 1 fourth so the limit of the square root of x minus 1 minus 2 divided by x minus 5 as x approaches 5 is 1 fourth